All right, guys, so we're trying to update this thing, and we're also trying to uh, go ahead and do um, the jailbreak. So basically, I had to format the memory stick, because somehow this thing got accessed by Rufus, and it named the... I think it happened yesterday. It... It tried to, I forgot I had it plugged in, it tried to write Rufus, tried to write Debian to the uh, the, um, the memory stick in here. But anyway, we're on 6.2, and in order to uh, unlock this, we need to be on 6.61. So, we're going to format the card, and then um, we're going to come in here, and we'll do this part first because I already made a video and I had to redo everything because it was just like oh this ain't working um, okay so a USB connection we need to be powered on we get a power cord okay we're fully charged on our battery anyway but okay so now let's go over to the computer and we'll open this up and we'll see now it doesn't say Debian, it says USB drive. It's formatted. All this stuff is normal. Rufus screwed this thing up. I didn't realize it until I really thought about it. I was having trouble. Uh, it took forever and screwed up, and then I had to restart. It was because this was plugged in last night when I was writing Debian to the thing. So, uh, anyway. Let's see here. So... That's ready to go. I'm going to share a really cool video with you guys. This guy shows you how to do all this stuff. And we'll kind of go through it because he doesn't explain it real well. He's explaining it a little confusing. So we're going to restore a previous session, which should pull it up. Okay. Uh... So this is Denver Gamer, how to update your PSP to 6.61 official firmware. And it, you're going to go to his thing here and you click more and you're going to go in here and you're going to find the PSP firmware update here and that will take you to this page here that I already have open. All of these seem to be the same. The 2018 one is in a WinRAR format and the others are 7-zip. You can click either one of these or you can click this one here. It will all be the same. Um, let's see if we can see it. So PSP, PSP. Anyway, um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to, after you download it, you're going to go into your files and find where this guy is. And then you're going to go to your downloads. And you're going to find out where these are. You're going to extract them. And when you do, like with the, the WinRAR one, you just click whatever. And the 7-zip one here, you extract files. I don't click extract here. For some reason, that doesn't always seem to work. And so mine is down here. We're going to come here and click on it. Click on PSP. Click on game. We'll see where it says update. And we'll copy that. Okay? We're just we're going to do it differently than this guy is going to show you. So, but just watch this. We're going to play it uh, fast. Playback speed is set to 2 because I, I don't want to play too much of somebody else's content. All right, guys, quick video on how to update your PSP to 6.61 official firmware because I can no longer find it on the Sony site. Go over here to GBA Temp, yeah. and here is a link to the PSP 1000, 2000, 3000 official 6.61 firmware. Download this to your downloads folder. Save it there. We are going to exit out. Go into your downloads folder and unzip the file or extract the contents. This is a WinRAR file. I have WinRAR, so all I do is right-click and select Extract here. And now I have the contents of the leak that zip file. And go ahead and connect your PSP to your PC. I use a mini USB cable. You can also use uh, the card adapter as well. And it should pop up here. Wait for it. Okay. There we go. I like to drag my folders to the sides of the screen so they snap in like this. Okay, so in Download, select the PSP folder, go into the Game folder, and there you'll see a folder named Update. On the PSP memory stick, go so into the PSP jumps. folder, and then open the Game folder, and you'll notice that nothing is there. Just simply drag that Update folder onto your PSP memory stick and wait for it to copy over. Okay, now it does sound really simple, but so let's just re replay that just for clarification, okay? So the update folder is not present in the game folder 
on the other one. Work the copy over. Onto your PSP memory stick, and then open the game folder, and you'll notice that nothing is there. Memory stick. Good. Okay. In download, select the PSP folder, go into the game folder, and there you'll see a folder named Update. On the PSP memory stick, go into the PSP folder, and then open the game folder, and you'll notice that nothing is there. Just simply drag that update folder onto your PSP memory stick. Okay, so that makes sense. So, so all we need to do here is copy the update. We don't have to drag it. You can if you want to, but I'd rather just copy it. And then we'll come in here to USB drive G, which is that. And then PSP. And then game. And then paste. Okay. And... I've already done all this, but what happened was I didn't have the battery yet for the thing, and it won't let you do it um, on the wall charger without a battery. It detects that there's no battery, and it says it won't allow you to update it, which is good because you could brick this thing doing an update with the battery uh, missing, and then something else happens. So, okay, so we've done that. Let's just go back to his video for a second. Um, and wait for it to copy over. That's it. Let's hop back on the PSP. Okay. All right. So he's did a really nice screen capture. He's doing. I don't know how he does the rest of this, but he he is doing a screen capture. So basically, we're gonna follow this to the T. But basically, um, there's not too much you really need to worry too much about. But he covers all of it. So we'll just listen to it real quickly. Scroll left to the settings. Down here in system settings. Scroll down to USB charge, leave this on, or if you have an aftermarket battery, turn this off. Also turn on USB auto connect. And just to show you the system information, we are in version 6.60 and we're going to upgrade to 6.61, which is the latest official firmware, probably the last official firmware for the PSP. So this is really easy. We're gonna scroll over to the memory stick. You can access that um, through games here and memory stick. And then we're gonna select PSP update 6.61. I could use my video cable to capture this, so I will show you some cell phone footage. Okay. Okay, so this is a Japanese PSP. I'm gonna push circle. To launch this, um, if you have a US PSP, you will select X. This will take just a second to start here. All right, select start. This is going to prompt you to read the terms and conditions. Press the right arrow and then down and select accept. It's a bunch of crap you gotta do. And I can't read this. Press the circle button to start. That's because it's a Japanese PSP. Um, yours will be X if it's an NTSC PSP. I'm gonna speed up this video because this takes a minute. Okay. All right, let's see if we can come in here and we'll go here back there's our USB connection um, oh and we don't I don't know do we need to be connected to the USB let me just see really quick what he was saying about that I don't think we do okay all right for the copy over that's it. Let's hop back on the PSP. All right. So scroll left to the settings down here in system settings. Scroll down to USB charge. Leave this on. Or if you have an aftermarket battery, turn this off. Also turn on USB auto connect. And just to show you the system information, we are in version 6.60 and we're going to upgrade to 6.61, which is the latest official firmware. Probably the last official firmware for the PSP. You can leave it plugged in because it'll just so turn. really easy. We're going to scroll over to the memory stick. You can access that um, through games here. And Okay. So... We're going to go over to the memory stick then. Do, 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 do. Okay. X. Oh. Okay. Now we got to go to games memory stick, which is confusing. So if you're over here, a memory stick shows up in a couple of different places. The games. Let me click that. And we'll see our update. Okay. So. There is an options thing popping up. Let's see if he shows it in his video. Memory stick. And then we're going to select PSP update 6.61. I could use my video cable to capture this, so I... Okay. So X. Okay. And I think it takes a while from this point. Um, so we're waiting and waiting. We can see here. Okay. Let's go back to the video. I will 
show you some cell phone footage. Okay, so this is a Japanese PSP. I'm going to push circle to launch this. Um, if you have a US PSP, you will select X. Okay. This will take just a second to start here. All right, select start. This is going to prompt you to read the terms and conditions. Okay. Start. And then I think you just slide over here. Press the button to continue. And then down to accept. And then... Do not turn off power, disconnect the AC. Do not turn off power, comma. Disconnect. It sounds like they're telling you to disconnect the AC adapter. Or remove this during this. So, okay, let's watch what he's talking about now. Press the right arrow and then down and select accept. Okay. And, and if you can't read this, press the circle button to start. That's because it's a Japanese PSP. Um, yours will be X if it's an NTSC PSP. I'm going to speed up this video. This takes a minute. Okay, so... Okay, so X to enter. Okay. And now it's installing the update. And this is as far as I got last time because I didn't have a battery. But Amazon delivered my battery today, so now we're here doing this. So... I have no idea how quickly this will go, but according to him, it takes a while. So, I'll be back. Okay, it is going a little faster. I just want to try and like catch every little bit of it so you can kind of get an idea of what to expect. So, um, from what I can tell, it probably would take a minute or two. We are 11 minutes into this video. I, I wish I could have did it a little faster. Um, let's see, how long is his video? His video is only five minutes long, so I really screwed the pooch on this one. At 48, 85, 85, 85, 85. And it suddenly just jumped to 100. And it says, update. I thought, for a second, I thought it said, unable to complete. Update completed. Press the X button to restart. Now you can delete the update data from your memory stick. Okay, but before we do that, let's watch the rest of his video. Okay, so we'll just see if everything looks the same. All right, press the circle button to restart. Again, there's will be X, probably. I don't know, it could be anywhere in the world. This will restart here. I'm gonna switch back over to my video capture. And you're done. Let's scroll to the left here to settings, go down to system settings, like that. Scroll back down to system information. And there you go, version 6.61, you are done. You've updated your PSP to the latest official firmware, and that's probably the last firmware we're going to see. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Just wanted to make a quick video for you guys, and I will see you next video. Cool. Okay. So, uh, check out his channel. Uh, I don't know what other kind of stuff he has, um, but there's a very, very new exploit for this where you can actually jailbreak it just from the thing itself. So, let's go the rest of the way back into ours, and we're going to hit X and wait for it to do its thing. The screen is very greasy because I had a WD-40 on my hands. Um, yeah, I know that's bad. But this thing was pretty grimy already. Okay, we'll go here. Settings. System settings. Okay, we're on that now. All right, so with that out of the way, I'll have a different video for doing the rest of it. So catch you later in the next video.